This craft video is inspired by the girl of the year, Blair Wilson. I'm going to be showing you how to make doll size inspiration boards. Here's everything you need to make this craft. Old magazines, scissors, paper, markers, pencils, or crayons, stickers, tape, washi tape, and doll size cork boards. Before we get started, let me first mention the two size cork boards that I have a 4x4 four four square cork coaster, and a 6x6 six six cork tile. The coasters come in a pack of six, and the cork tiles come in a pack of four. I'm gonna quickly open them up so you can see the difference between them. The cork coasters are very thin. You can see they're very flexible, not very thick. These do look more like a cork board to me. Let me quickly show you the cork tiles. These are a lot bigger, not as flexible, and very thick. I think that this is a better size for the doll size board, but both will work just fine. They also come with some stickers, so you can stick them on the back of the cork tiles and hang them up in your dollhouse. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take our magazines and scissors and cut out pictures to put on our inspiration boards. I just have some old American Girl magazines here, and be sure you have your parents' permission before you go cutting up their magazines. I'm thinking about making a board inspired by Blair Wilson, so I'm going to cut out some pictures that represent her collection. These books will make a nice picture on the board. The pictures of the American Girl books make great props for the doll inspiration board, so I'm just gonna cut out these of Blair's books. I also found the picture of the Farm and Feast book. I think that might look good on Blair's board. I also like to incorporate some kind of word or quote on my board, so I think this quote really represents Blair's personality. It says, the best recipes bring people together. And then you can just flip through, find different pictures that will look good on your board, or if you don't have any magazines available, you can take your paper and markers, pencils, crayons, whatever you have, and make your own props for your board. I think I have everything I need, so let's put it all together. Our first board is going to be inspired by Blair Wilson. I have some cutouts here that really represent Blair's style, as well as some washi tape that I think will look cute on the board. So what you need to do is take your washi tape and string it across the board in any direction that you'd like. I like the way washi tape looks on the board, I think it adds a nice touch. So you can see I just strung this piece near the corner, and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the bottom corner. And be sure it's even with your other piece. So now since I have the washi tape all across the board, I'm going to start laying my pieces on there. I also have these stickers that I think will look cute on there. They are from Blair Wilson's accessories. So for this step, you can just arrange it any way you like. It may take you a few seconds to figure out what design you want. I also found this sticker from American Girl's Farm and Feast book. So here is my final design. Now we're just going to take our tape and tape all of the pieces to the board. I think we have a lot of elements on this board that represent Blair's style, like her gardening apron and hat, some things to represent her love for cooking, and just some other cute things that remind me of Blair. For our second inspiration board, I took some gray washi tape and made a really cool design by putting a piece going down and one going across the top. And I also have some really cute cutouts here as well as these little blue stickers. When you stick them on your board, they look like push pins, and I think it adds a little dimension to the board. And again, just arrange your pieces in any way you'd like, and you can also stick some stickers on there. After I've taped everything on the board, I'm going to be putting on these little button stickers. I'm sure you've guessed by now that this inspiration board is for our dolls that love to travel.
For this board, I'm going to use some rose washi tape and do a similar pattern like the one on our previous inspiration board, except this time it's in the bottom right corner. And this is what it looks like. Oh, I love this rose washi tape. One of the things that I made for this board was a doll to-do list. I just took some doll size notebook paper and I just wrote down some different chores or tasks that the doll has to take care of. And I also made another to-do list. This piece of paper came from American Girl's Blair Wilson's accessory set and I just wrote down some different things on that one too. So I've taped everything on and added the little stickers and I have to say I think this board is my favorite. It reminds me a lot of the inspiration board that's in my bedroom. For our final board, I'm going to be using a cork coaster this time and some blue polka dot washi tape to do a really cool design. This geometrical design was made by taking a piece of blue washi tape and cutting it in half so it wouldn't be so big on the little cork board. You can do this design on your big inspiration boards too. I probably wouldn't cut the piece of washi tape in half though. So here is what I decided to put on our little board. We have a lot of fashion elements on this board. I love the way the washi tape looks in the background. It looks really unique. And here are all of our doll size inspiration boards. We have a lot of different styles here, from traveling to fashion, for our Blair Wilson fans, and just an everyday inspiration board. There really is no wrong or right way to do this craft, so the possibilities are endless. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this craft, coming up with different inspiration boards that represent your doll style. In the comment section, let us know which inspiration board is your favorite. Until next time, thanks for watching and have an awesome doll day.